Hello everyone, Canberron here, and welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Arena video. Now I said I was going to do a Zombies deck. I didn't have enough, quite enough wild cards for uh, Demir Zombies because I'm lacking a few for the Champion of the Parish and Tainted Adversary. But I do have at least one copy of each. And if you'll excuse me for Jadar the Ghoul Caller of Nephalia, I'm going to do a Brawl deck where I've got one, at least one copy of Champion of the Parish and Tainted Adversary, if I can find him. There he is. So I chose... Acerarak the Archlich. I'm convinced they've spelled that wrong on purpose. Because Acerak seems a lot better to roll off the tongue. And the idea is it's a dungeon slash zombies card. So we've got a lot of cards with zombie, obviously. So if I just type zombie into the thing, this is a neat feature. They can now separate all the zombie cards. So we have Champion of the Perished. Crawl from the cell to get back a zombie. Shambling Ghast. The Draugus Helm to boost our zombies. Ghastly Gloom Hunter because I do want a little bit of a lifelink because there'll be a lot of kind of lose life create token or create effect cards with this priest of the haunted edge just to be able since we're running snowlands i can just get a good naught four blocker in and if i need to i can sacrifice to get minus x minus x selfical ghoul tainted adversary grim draugr hobbling zombie i've got no way out as well so i get my opponent to discard two cards and create a two two zo zombie token with decay just to give me i'm gonna be using decayed zombies as a form of um kind of sacrifice dump and then draugr necromancer death priest of miracle and zombie ogre this will also be part of the fact that i've got a lot of enter the dungeon cards as well which for that um during the D, &D set when Ex book of exalted deeds was becoming the most annoying thing on the planet there was another book a much more tainted book that i've managed to get hold of a copy of that being the book of vile darkness so at the beginning of your end step, if you lost two or more life this turn, create a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. Exile Book of Wild Darkness, an artifact you control, name the Eye of Vecna and the Hand of Vecna. And then I get Vecna, the legendary zombie god, who's indestructible and have all the trigger abilities of the Exile cards. So if I lose life, I get to create a zombie token. If, I en if he enters the battlefield, I draw a card and lose two life. And if I pay two, I can draw a card and lose two life. And if I lose two life... I can summon a zombie creature token, link in fact. And at the beginning of combat on my turn, equip creature or creature control named Vecna gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of cards in my hand. Um, so I can do that to Vecna as well using the hand. So basically I can be incredibly powerful. It's an incredibly powerful card and works well with Asura. Asura that's going to be, I'm just calling him Asurak. I'm not going to try and pronounce the extra ER. So Acerax the Arclic. Um, for everything else we have for entering the dungeon, uh, if we get rid of that, we have cards like Clattering Skeletons. We have Yuangti Fanblade, uh, Precipitous Drop, um, Fates Reversal, and a couple of other cards as well. Obviously Acerax himself will help with that. Um, Warlock Class, Village Rites, Feign Death, Crawl from the Cellar, Blood on the Snow is a board wipe in case I need it. Draugr Necromancer because I thought that'd be quite fun because I can cast spells, spell my own opponent's spells with ice counters on them. And then obviously we've got um, Dungeon Descent to help get into the dungeon and Snow Covered Swamp. Obviously the dungeon we'll be using the most is Tomb of Annihilation because that's the one I need to complete to um, get a Surak on the field without returning to the hand. And then obviously, just for a bit of a game for a laugh, because I need an extra land, I just thought it'd be funny because I work in hospitality. I thought I'd include Hostile Hostel. It also does allow me to sacrifice a creature and use the benefits of any card that says if you lost a creature this turn. Um, obviously, we've got Power Work Kill in the Fernal Grasp, Feed the Swarm. We've got a lot of removal as well. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go straight into the play queue. I don't know if they do a rank brawl. If they do a rank brawl, I might play around in that a bit. Um, if it's a success. We've also got just a round off. We've got Warlock Class. I think this deck will be quite good. I'm yet to test it out because I was trying to basically build up to get Eye of Vecna because I didn't have it. That was a bit of a fucking grind because I did want to get this video out two days ago, but it is good. It's going to be as today will be Thursday. So anyway, let's just get straight on with the games. Okay, so we're going to do the um, we're going to do the Magic Brawl midweek Magic Brawl event, which is still going on. Um, I'm going to have to free mulligan this because there's literally nothing I can. <sighs> right. Let's play Eye of the Vecna. Um, so, I didn't realize that Asarek can juke the command attacks.
I've used No Way Out to deal with shit, so is that what you think? Come on, Clegg. Flash me. Well, there goes that. At least we got Bucks of Wild Darkness. Attention Vortex and Secret Door. I'm gonna actually have to destroy those zombies just try and draw through my deck. For some reason I have like literally no creatures. I'm assuming some point they're gonna play Hammer Pasha. Need to get rid of that, to be honest. There we go. That gets some damage out. So yeah, you can just ring back the hand and juke the commander cost. So we're gonna do Tomb of Annihilation, of course. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, someone can't get Ivy back in the back. More important, we destroy that. Get the arch -lish. I had to sacrifice space reversal there because the only choice I had was either that cost a fuckload more for um thing. Is 
Because they get two triggers, but I mean, we're close. Anyway. So, yeah. So we're going we're gonna to play the... And... Get rid of Dungeon Descent. Can't block that. Boom. Yeah, they're done. Like, I was just gonna equip Draugr's Helm anyway and just, like, use it on Grim Draugr to just win the game. But, uh, yeah, you can see where the strength of this. Asarak being able to return to your hand really does dupe the game out slightly. Anyway, we'll just move on to the next game. In fact, actually, before we do that, you can see what card I'd get first. Once it waits for the fucking server. Come on. Come on. Oh, you have to claim the pro- Alright, we'll do that at the end. Anyway, on to the next game. This hand is fine. We're up against Trellisar and Moondars, so this is going to be enjoyable. Going to need to get a lot of removal very quickly. Because this is going to be irritating. Don't have Core Celebrant right off the bat. Oh good, Infernal Grasp. If you haven't guessed already, I'm playing the Zombies. Uh, gosh, Flume Hunter... Just use Infernal Grasp next turn and kill the first creature that play. Yeah, I can play Trelasa here. Right. Take the hit there. Oh, this is going to be irritating. Right. There we go. Alright with that. I could put no. I'll take the four here. Oh, 
Ooh, cheeky. Um... Good hands. So I can block the fucking unicorn. Yeah, block priest here. So find out the uh Now I hate to admit it, I'm not gonna be able to use um tainted adversary, I don't think. I can probably use it. Yeah, I can use it fucking next turn. This will get tricky. Poison the cup is an instant. Yep. <sighs> Take the land. Interesting that he chosen to, uh, Oh, 
All right. Oh, come on. to pay. Ooh, definitely use that. Right, next. Let's give me a 4 3, which will get blocked. So we just throw here. Yep, this is fucking getting crazy. God damn it. You know I have a death touch. I know he can hit me with the Righteous Valkyrie, which is, I'll just have to live with that. Um, I think I got the fly, that'll be fun. You know what death touch means, right? Oh, just, yeah, that's fine. I'll get shambling guards back. Yeah, and they've scooped. I think they've seen the end coming, because next time I can just play Aserak. I've managed to basically outlast a life gain deck by literally draining my own life. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. I mean, the entire battlefield itself. Um, another zombie card and just charging through, sacrifice a zombie, get some life through Ghastly Gloom Hunter, go in with a 12-12, which will force him to block, by the way. So, you know, he's basically going to lose board. Um, that's quite fun. So, yeah, uh, we're just going to leave this one. So, the last one I got was um, just 20 gems, so we'll see what we get here. If it'll load... Claim prize. I got Circle of Dreams Druid. Add mana for each creature I control. That sounds good in a mono green deck. Anyway, on to the next game. So, we're on the play, uh, on the draw against uh, Tolivar Dire Overlord. This would be enjoyable. Uh, I gotta mute, to be honest. Oh, good. Shambling Ghost. The Sephiroth Ghoul and Hobbling Zombie. Yeah, I put a hobbling zombie in the deck just because it's a death touch and you get a 2-2 uh, to replace it.
Take it. And use that. There we go. <clears throat> so we now have Draug and Necromancer on the field. Leave it here. Or shambling ghost. Play hostile hotel. Get the clattering skeletons out. I'm just kind of slow rolling it because I don't want to commit overcommit too hard. I have a border that can defend, so. Wolves versus zombies. I, I, I swear to God, I still don't know why Innistrad. You could have released both blocks around about. You've got one releasing before the month where Halloween is, and one releasing the month after where Halloween is. I can't help but feel they missed a trick with Innistrad. Okay. that. Then we can play both and get it back to daytime. Uh, boy. So let's go in with the hobbling zombie. May he hobble in peace. Because he's got death touch. Back to daytime. Oh, I can play Hound Tamer as well, can't I? But I just can't use his effect. Because I don't have a Green mana. So yeah, this is going yeah, it's going okay. He won't risk playing the Bounding Wolf. And now all of your creatures belong to me. Because of Draugr Necromancer.
Who do I really want to be bad for? I can live with that double block. I need to make sure these guys go first. I can't really pay one, because... Because the zombie. It's getting pretty dicey for him. You see where the strength of this deck lies. Especially when I can easily play your own deck against you. That emergency burning down the house was hilarious. Um. There we go. And there we go. That was fun. It's, and I got the Book of Vardonis in case I needed it. You can see that this is just it is very, very, very strong. Um, this deck. I think it's surprising, but it just, you do need to get a good early game. If you don't get a good early game, you can get out pressured by decks that have a lot of options. Especially a lot uh, decks with a lot of one-drops. But we'll just go on and play one more game. Here's what I mean by early game. Like, I couldn't play this unless I was able to survive for four. I can try playing Priest of the Wounded Engine into Clattering Skeletons, but... I mean, I can risky keep it in case I can just draw into, like, keep myself going to blood on the snow. But I don't want to risk it. Take the free mulligan. That'll have to do. Yeah, just shambling cost. Right off with that shit and all. Get the eye of uh, Vecna out. Both card, lose two life, that's fine. Oh. Uh, do I want to do that? Decline. For once, I won't do that. Get Dungeon Descent out. Enter. I could have played Asarak, but I didn't want to. I'm assuming they might destroy my Vecna if they get the chance. first. Sack this off. Oh wait, search the body. Enter. Enter into the dungeon, Tomb of Annihilation. Just play and lose one life. 
See, there we go. Magic. I'm guessing he's Ragdoll's Vampires with Zagras rather than anything else. Um, it's not a bad idea, actually. Only because I can cost Tainted Adversary. Probably a bit of a waste of Tainted Adversary here, but... Okay, but why? Guess I need to have the board. Really don't think he needs to point that out, to be honest. They don't have a lot of mountain. I think they made a mistake playing the blight step. Still in the only in the open part. I don't get this guy at all. Um... Risky move. because I need the mana. Mana is less. Zombie Ogre. Dungeon Descent. There we go, and we finished Tomb of Annihilation. Isn't that wonderful? Wait, they didn't... Wow. And I just used my, um, thing. That's actually pretty clever. 
Give him credit for that. Yeah, I'll give him credit for that. They used Haunting Void. They basically declined to keep their, um... They declined to keep their, um... Uh... They declined to keep their, uh... Planeswalker, uh, Commander. Then just brought everybody back with Haunting Voyage. Ugh, that's frustrating. That's, I'll give him props, though. That's quite a clever strategy. You just don't keep your Commander. They think you're crazy, and then you just simply bring him back. Anyway, uh, I'll leave that as the final game. You can see the strengths of the deck. I think maybe I should have tried to keep Ghastly Gloom Hunter to try and get life on the board. I think maybe also if I'd have drawn a couple of removals just to get rid of Zagrath. Zagrath, that would have been helpful. Anyway, we'll uh, move on to the outro. Yeah, I think you saw where the strengths of the deck are. I think there are a few weaknesses. I think there are, yeah, there's a few too many non-creatures. There's only 13 creatures in the deck. They're all, like, not all the zombies as well, but with a with Asarak of the Arclick, Arclitch, you can do stuff like continually boost Champion of the Parish by replaying him. You can bring back cards as well. Um, Book of Vile Darkness is also a massive boost for Champion of the Parish as well. Book of Vile Darkness was a really, really good card. I really like using it, but I think it works best in a zombie deck, possibly in a brawl deck, because you consistently are able to generate tokens. Um, I would also probably work it in... You could probably work it into an Orzov life deck along with Eye of Vecna and Hand of Vecna. Um, because you're continually paying life. It's That's why I put uh, Ghastly Gloom Hunter into the deck. So that it wouldn't be too affected. Um, because you can kick it for either lifelink or try and boost it as well. So that you are continually gaining life for the life that you use, lose with like Eye of Vecna. Um, Zombie Ogre at the end there was quite good. It's just unfortunately lost out in the last game to probably what was quite a good play with Haunting Voyage. I think probably something I could have looked at using, possibly even to take out Warlock class, because I never, ever used Warlock class at any point. Um, even during the testers, it really wasn't that useful. So I could probably do with taking that out. But I will probably play more with this deck. I might even, so tomorrow night you'll see the video up. And then at some point over the weekend, I'll try and get some time to stream, maybe on a Saturday night. So I'll be streaming using the Arclick Domain deck, maybe even using a couple more standard decks. There are some ideas I want to do. Uh, I will try and do the full Demir Zombies deck once I can get the wild cards for it. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. And if you want to see more, you can always subscribe. I've been Cam Run, and thank you for watching.